Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope your day is going well so far. I know, I don't even have words. It's raining outside, it's storming, it's windy, my hair looks bad, just don't pay attention to it. Plus, my roots are in like desperate need of attention. Like normally I have roots showing, but this time there's like a lot showing and I just haven't had time to go to the salon, so just forgive me my darlings okay anyway today is a video that i'm really excited about i personally love filming and watching first impressions videos this is like a first impressions review getting ready with me tutorial all squashed into one but the brand we're focusing on is it cosmetics which is actually a brand i've been curious about for a while now i've had one or two products in my collection that i've actually stuck like stayed true to but there's a ton in the brand. I don't know if It Cosmetics has always been like that. I feel like it mainly started with brushes and then I've always heard about Bye Bye Under Eye, one other product. But other than that, I feel like the collection has like expanded a ton within the last couple years. So before it was a brand that was available like exclusively on their website or QVC, but now they have the line sold at Ulta, which I love because I don't know about you guys, but I really like getting in and like touching the products and feeling them and swatching them. So yeah, basically every time that I've gone to Ulta, I've like stocked their brand brush line. If you guys haven't seen, they collabed with Ulta and came out with like an amazing luxe brush line that I just want all of them. They're so soft and crazy. But yeah, today we're going to be doing a first impressions and one brand look on It Cosmetics. So my entire face today was produced, <laughs> created using It Cosmetics, and I have to say I'm pretty darn impressed so far. So before we get on into the tutorial, there's actually some awesome news for both you and me. It Cosmetics is currently having their friends and family sale, and it's going on until the end of November. So if you guys click the link down below and use the code FRIENDS25, you'll get 25% off site-wide plus free shipping which is awesome because there are a ton more products I want to try. Okay, so like I mentioned, before we get into the tutorial, I just wanted to share a few things about the brand with you guys just because I don't know about you, but I always like to know about like the brand's mission and their backstory. So It Cosmetics was developed with the help of plastic surgeons and dermatologists. So everything in the line is clinically proven and it's also like beneficial for your skin. Pretty much all the products I use today, there's some kind of vitamin, shea butter, avocado. What was the other big one that I saw over and over again? Collagen, peptides, all kinds of good stuff for your skin, your eyebrows, your eyelashes, which I just love because I feel like It Cosmetics not only kept the consumer in mind, but this consumer skin as well, which is pretty cool in my book. Also, after doing some investigating on the site, do you guys ever do that? Anytime I try out a new brand, I always like to go onto the site and read like if the company has a blog or anything and just read everything about the brand. I'm kind of like Sherlock Holmes when it comes to new makeup. I don't know, is that weird? But after investigating on the site, I realized one of their like big missions is to be kind of like your one-stop beauty shop. What I mean by that is not only are they trying to like create products that make you feel and look beautiful, but they're also trying to be like the one-stop source when it comes to problem solving, I guess. So whether we're talking hyperpigmentation or if you have really fa false, <laughs> really sparse and brittle eyelashes, acne scarring, anything like that, all the individual products are loaded with all kinds of beneficial ingredients that are good for your skin, which I just really enjoy. Let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start off with are my eyebrows because as you can see, they are in need of some desperate attention. So this is actually a product that I haven't tried yet, so this one will be kind of a first impressions with you guys. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil with Active Brow Enhancing Technology. And the shade is just universal. So obviously it just comes with one color that's supposed to work for all of us. So it looks like it's a double-ended one. We have a retractable pencil on one side and then a spoolie on the other, which the spoolie is actually really nice and big. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and comb these brows out first. Not gonna lie, I'm already kind of nervous about just because I haven't had the best luck with universal type of brow products. I feel like they almost always tend to run more on like the cool ashy side and I don't know, that sometimes that just doesn't match with my brows. Oh, it has like a nice kind of like waxy texture to where it's holding my brows in so I won't have to go in with a gel afterwards. And the color actually looks pretty nice so far. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going in with light strokes. And first, I always like to start from the bottom part of my brow and kind of create the shape. So there's that one, and then here's just carving out the shape for this one. So once I get like the shape on the bottom part, then I go into the top and kind of do the same thing. The so same thing, just really nice light strokes. 
Obviously, if I were to push harder, then I would get a darker color. But I feel like IT Cosmetics did a great job with the tone of this pencil. And I feel like it's really easy to control on the brow. I also really like the shape of the pencil. It's more of like a flat rectangle rather than like your typical circle or point, kind of like what comes on the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is a lot wider and flatter, so I feel like it's just easier to get in there and create nice straight lines. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on to my face. I actually have two separate face products here that I want to try as my base. The first one is the Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. This one has SPF 50, which I feel like it's pretty hard to come by in most other CC or BB creams. It tends to be around 30 max, so 50 is really good, especially if you live somewhere like me where the sun is super hot and strong. So I'm using mine in the shade medium. To apply it, I'm gonna be using this IT Cosmetics. I forget the name of this. I'll go ahead and insert the name right here, but as you can see, it's a dual-ended brush. So this side I was gonna use for concealer, and then this side for my, I guess in this case, um, CC cream, but normally I would use this for foundation. I've heard nothing but great things about this one, so I'm excited to give it a try. Go ahead and just get some on the brush and then dot it around my face. Oh, this color. Looks like it's gonna be nice though. It looks like it has a nice yellow undertone, which is perfect for me. Kind of more neutral and yellow. Wow, the coverage of this is pretty impressive, especially for a CC cream. It says full coverage on here, but I feel like it's more of a medium coverage that you can build up to full, which I actually prefer. I don't want a product that's gonna go on super heavy right away. I like something that you can kind of build up to your liking. And I really like applying it with this brush. I feel like it does a good job blending it out. So as you can see, my freckles are still peeking through, but I feel like it's doing a great job with evening my complexion and kind of blurring out the other imperfections, like any large pores or redness that I may have. Yeah, I really, really like this coverage. But just to try this product out on camera, I'm gonna get a tiny bit of this. This is the Bye Bye Redness Neutralizing Correcting Cream. I'm just gonna do it on spots that I feel like I need a little bit more coverage and around my nose where I tend to get a bit of redness. So I believe this is another product that just comes in one shade. It's just supposed to neutralize any redness you have on your face. This has a thicker, more like moussey texture. I thought it was gonna be a bit runnier. I'm just gonna get my finger on the lid and I've heard this stuff is pretty potent. So I'm just gonna add a small dot right around my nose, right here I kind of have some redness and mainly on my chin. I feel like that's where I tend to get the most breakouts. Also this guy right here, he can go away. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing and take that same brush and blend this stuff out. Okay, yeah. The Bye Bye Redness definitely offers way more coverage than the CC cream, which I feel like it should if it's supposed to be more of kind of like a concealing slash foundation product. I feel like this would be an awesome product if you're someone who has lots of like leftover scarring from acne or anything that tends to be more on the red side. I feel like this would do an awesome job covering it. And yeah, I think just on the spots where I did apply it, I put a bit too much because like people said in other videos, a tiny bit definitely goes a long way. And that stuff seriously <laughs> covers. Now to finish off kind of like my base, I'm gonna go in with the concealer. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Waterproof Concealer with Hydro Collagen Vitamins C and K. I'm using mine in the shade Light. I'm just gonna, I think first, just because it feels kind of thick for concealer, I'm gonna warm it on the back of my hand before I apply it to my eyes. I'm gonna dab it right on. Now I'm gonna take the opposite end of this brush and use the brush to kind of blend it in and just melt it into my skin more. Bring it down the sides of my nose. And since I'm not gonna be using a primer today for my eyes, like an eyeshadow primer, I'm just gonna use this instead. I seriously really, really like this brush. This opposite side was okay. It wasn't life-changing, but I really do like the texture of this brush. The density is like just right to where it does a great job blending your products without like tugging them or leaving brush strokes on your face. For my under eye powder, I'm actually gonna use this product here, which this was one that I was really excited about just because I like the idea that it all comes in one palette. 
This is the CC Plus Radiance Palette. It's a color correcting brightening powder, matte blush, and matte bronzer. So there's this is the brightening powder right here. Then you have the blush and the bronzer. For this, I'm actually gonna use this brush here, which I've been dying to use. This is just their large, I believe it's the powder brush, but it's just a super large dome, fluffy, fluffy brush. If you guys haven't felt the bristles on these It Cosmetics brushes yet, you need to. They're seriously so soft. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna be good for under eyes, but it says brightening, so I kinda wanna try it. Okay, no, I was not I was kind of nervous. I was like, what if it goes on kind of beige? This brush is seriously so soft. Probably not that ideal for under eyes, but I've just been super excited to use it. Okay, now for my face powder. Oh, I think I forgot it. The face powder is already one that I've been using for a while now. I believe I've mentioned it in a couple of favorites videos. I seriously love this powder. The finish is a really nice, like luminous, dewy finish. Let me go ahead and grab it first, and that way I can show you guys which it is. And this is the Celebration Foundation Illumination Powder in the shade Light. It looks just like this here. I have used this thing like crazy. This is hands down a product that I would repurchase over and over again, just because if you have more to normal to dry skin, or even if you have kind of oily skin and you like that dewy, luminous look, I feel like you would love this powder. I've actually worn this with no foundation underneath, like I just put on moisturizer and then applied this on top and it just seriously gives so much coverage without feeling heavy. I feel like it's a really nice lightweight powder that still offers really nice, like pretty full coverage. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm actually just gonna go back into this same CC palette and then use the matte bronzer here. So I'm gonna dip this right in here. I actually haven't used this bronzer yet, so I'm excited to see the color payoff of it. Oh, that is nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend this right here and then pull it up towards the sides of my forehead and my hairline just to warm up like the edges of my face. Can you guys see that powder right now? Like I don't have any highlighter on, but you just see this nice like kind of glowy sheen right there. That's the powder and I seriously love it. Like. That's one product I highly recommend from IT Cosmetics. I've used that powder so much and seriously can't get enough of it. Okay, now for my blush, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here. I don't know if it has a name. Oh, yes it does. This was the It's Your Perfect Warmth Bronzer and then this is the It's Your Naturally Pretty Blush. This is the blush brush. It looks like it is lighter and you can build it up. This is actually nice. It's kind of like a peachy pink. Oh, that's actually really pretty. This brush is nice too, it has a really nice slant to it. And it's like the perfect size for my big cheeks. Okay, so today I think I'm actually gonna work back and forth between both of these palettes because there's a couple shades in the Volume 1 palette that I really like, especially these two right here, kind of that burnt sienna color. But then over on this side, there's some really pretty nice neutrals. And I'm gonna be taking the color Snow Angel. And this one is from the, I'm just gonna call this palette number two because I don't want to keep saying this name over and over again. So just for a quick reference, palette number two is going to be this one here, which is the Pretty Matte Luxe Transforming Eyeshadow Palette. It's the Celebration Edition, I guess we could just say that. So I'm going to be going into this one, which is the newer one, and taking this color right here, just a nice matte kind of like creamy, beigey white color. And I'm going to apply that right to my brow bone. Okay, so now for my crease, I'm sticking with the Celebration palette and taking this color right here, which is called Cozy. I've been using this one a ton for my crease. I feel like it's really nice. Sometimes I'll actually go in and mix both Champagne and Cozy. In fact, I think I will do that just because it kind of lightens up Cozy a bit. And I'm just dusting this right into my crease. Okay, now we're gonna go back into the Volume 1 palette and go into these two shades Earlier. here. I love these orangey colors. I don't know what it is, the warmth in them, I just feel like brings out the flecks of green in my eyes. And I feel like it's perfect for fall. So I'm gonna be mixing both sunrise and sunset together. So this, I'm concentrating more on like the lower half of my crease, closer to my lid. And I'm just gonna blend this back and forth. I think hot cocoa. This one is in the Celebration Edition palette. It's just this really nice kind of like charcoaly brown color. So I'm just gonna take that on a shader brush and I'm gonna place this all over my lid. Now if you guys want this to be darker, like on the first go around, you can obviously go in with some kind of like deep brown base, whether it's like a thick eyeshadow pencil or like one of the, what are they called, the Maybelline color tattoos, you could do that. 
but I kind of want to keep it lighter like this that way it'll be easier to go in and really kind of blend it out now I'm not wanting to pull this color up a ton if you already have like a naturally good like large lid space and defined crease then you don't need to do this but since my eyes are hooded I want more of that color to peek through when my eyes are open so that's why I like to pull it upwards a bit see right here especially on the outer corner I'm just gonna place some color there blend it back and forth and just really take my time to blend the color out okay so now before we move on to applying shadow to smoke out my lower lash line I'm just gonna go ahead and line my waterline and my tight line this is the no tug waterproof gel eyeliner this is in the shade black brown this is another travel friendly product because not only is it retractable but you also have a little sharpener right here at the end if you wanted to like sharpen the point of it so I'm just gonna drag some of this onto my lower lash line. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm gonna go back into the palette. And first I'm gonna go into the color that we applied all over my lid, which was hot cocoa. And then just taking a pencil brush, I'm gonna drag some of that right on top of the eyeliner that we just placed and connect it towards the top shadow. Okay, now moving on to my eyelashes. This is another product that I've been wanting to try for a while. I believe I heard Makeup by Tiffany D talk about this first. This is the Tightline Full Lash Length Black Primer. So it looks just like this. Then once you pull it out, you have this really like strange, super thin wand. So you're just supposed to apply this right to the very, very base of your lashes. And it's basically just supposed to tightline for you. And from what I gather, it's supposed to kind of help your lashes look thicker. Like just like, the main purpose that you tight line with a liner is to kind of give your lashes that oomph. And, oh yeah. Wow, that is cool. I don't know how well you'll be able to, no, you can't see that on camera, right? Compared to this eye, and then this one here, I've only applied on the outer half so far. Okay, so now I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm not gonna lie, I probably will go in and pop on some falsies just because I plan on filming more videos today. But just like any other time before I apply false lashes, I always like to curl my lashes and apply one thin coat of mascara. So today I'm gonna be using the Hello Lashes 5-in-1 Clinically Proven Mascara with Lash Ball Detailer. Comes in pretty cool packaging too, like this part is like a soft, grippy thing in the bobber. Then you have that cool wrecking ball shape, kind of like the Benefit There Real, and then the actual lash or wand. I tend to stick to waterproof, so I don't know how fair my judgment will be on this mascara, just because my lashes are so stubborn and straight that I pretty much always use only waterproof mascara. So. Um, yeah, I mean, it just looks like your typical mascara. Now I think for my lower lash line, I know that said it's more of like a tight lining mascara, but since this wand was so tiny, I want to try this on my lower lashes. Okay, so yeah, I'm actually loving this for my lower lashes because normally I can't get onto the very inner ones. Now I feel like it looks like my lower lashes actually even exist. Okay. okay, now for my inner corner, just since my eyes are fully matte, I just want to add like a pop of shimmery highlight into my inner corners. You guys all know I'm a sucker for highlight. So I'm going to go in right here and use the Transforming Ombre Ribbon that I mentioned earlier and mainly concentrate just right here on the front portion where it's more of a pearly color. And I'm going to pop some of that right into the inner corner of my eyes just because everything else is matte I just want some kind of brightness right there this is the your lips but better waterproof lip liner stain and I have mine in the shade of blushing nude just like the eyeliner it does have a sharpener and it's retractable so I'm just gonna line my lips with this okay and on the top lip I always like to just do the little X first just because I don't have a defined cupid's bow okay and then on top of it I'm going to apply Oh, I have this color. No, I'm gonna do this. This is the Vitality Lip Plush 4-in-1 Reviver. This is one of those lip products that kind of adjusts according to your pH. So this is in the shade Je Ne Sais Quoi. Is that how you say it? I've worn this color on its own and I really, really like it. It just gives your lips that really nice kind of like rosy pinky color. Well, at least on my lips. So it looks just like this. I love the packaging, first of all. And I'm just gonna apply this right on top. It's a super, super moisturizing product. It almost feels like a really like luxurious chapstick. I'm guessing it's the shea butter and aloe in it, but it seriously, it feels so good on your lips. This is like 
a product you could easily snatch out of your purse and just do it without a mirror. All right guys, so this is the final look using all the IT Cosmetics products. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful. Like I said, don't forget the friends and family sale going on. I will have that link and coupon code down below. If you guys do end up getting anything or if you have any personal recommendations for me to try that I didn't feature in this video, be sure to leave that in a comment down below because I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Also, just before we finish up this video, I wanted to quickly give you guys some of my personal favorites just from this video and just well, no, because a couple of products I have been using here for a while. Most importantly, this one here. If you guys have normal to, I'd say combo skin, or if, even if you have oily skin and you just don't mind having kind of that like glowy sheen to your face, highly recommend this powder. I seriously cannot get enough. This is definitely a product that I would repurchase over and over again. The name is just so long. It's Celebration Foundation Illumination, and I have mine in the shade Light. Now, just going off of today's first impressions, so far, I'm seriously impressed with the Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. I feel like the coverage is amazing I really like the formula of it it gives a really nice medium to full coverage depending how much you build it up but it's just so comfortable to wear I feel like it did a great job kind of evening out my skin tone and blurring out any imperfections but still keeping my face having like a natural flawless finish one other, well no, I guess two other products. I seriously love these palettes. These are definitely ones you'll see featured in a weekly favorites video or a monthly favorites video. Now this is where it's kind of hard for me because I don't know which one I prefer more. Although I feel like I use more of the shades in the Celebration Edition over the Volume 1. Just because these are the kind of neutrals that I tend to go for more. I feel like right here these tend to be a little bit warmer. Whereas in this palette the top row to me just seems cooler, you know. But in this palette, I love, love, love these three shades. Like I feel like I go in between these two palettes because of th these three shades. So I almost wish those three shades were in this one and then I would say you would be fine with just this. But I've heard so many good reviews about this one where people actually prefer this one over this one. So it's definitely all personal preference, but with a 25% off sale going on, I kind of like get both. <laughs> oh, also I almost forgot the brushes. That's one thing I will definitely be stocking the site for is the brushes. Just because this one alone I was so impressed with. I feel like this is one that they've had for a while. I've seen so many people use this one even like a couple years back. But these two are also amazing. This blush brush and the powder brush. Definitely gonna go on the site and get more of these brushes during the sale. So yeah, I think that pretty much wraps this video up. Like I said, if you guys have any recommendations that you think I should check out, be sure to leave those down below. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.